Okay, so you here, right here, yeah, you know, welcome back to another GTA 5 car showcase for this Finance and Felony DLC. Going to be showcasing this brand new sports car called the Grossi Bestia GTS coming in at 610k. Let's take a look. Turns out you can have it all powered, class, innovation, and pedigree. What I noticed with this DLC is that it is a lot to do with the looks. I quite like that. They haven't really focused much on terms of the performance. I mean, think about the performance, though. You could say it's, it's sort of like... On par, I mean, it can compete with the aspects of the, certain aspects of the cars, but they're not the most superior performance, if you know what I mean. They're not like, you know, dominant within the classes, but it's still there. There's variety, there's options to choose from. I'm down to 8.9 mil or 9 mil on the dot, and that's making me cringe every time that shit goes down. It's arrived at my garage. Apparently, you can get um, a fifth garage. Is that, is that true? I think so. I've read to see a few peeps in the comments on the previous videos. Where? Where are you? There you are. That was a bit of a delayed delivery. Let me see that. So in the front, looks a bit like the Dubashi, isn't it? The Dubashi. What is that? Wait, what? Yeah, like a mess. Yeah, Masakro. Yeah, like a little bit of a Masakro shape in the front. But what the? Okay, okay. What? That? 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 I wasn't expecting the rear to be like that. I think I tried this once. On that three hour stream earlier, yo, yesterday when the DLC first dropped. Tried it in a race or in a GTA mode, someone respawned it. But I was definitely not expecting a race to be like that. But it, it looks quite classy, it's quite luxurious as you'd expect uh, from this DLC. Alright. A little bit like that Bumblebee effect. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, first of all, guys, um, a lot of, lot, there's a lot of questions regarding this DLC. Am I going to be covering comparisons, car cars, stuff like that? I will be doing it in the near future. However, uh, tomorrow early morning, uh, 2 a.m., Thursday, 2 a.m., I am actually going to Portugal for seven days. So it's unfortunate timing. I was going to do all of the comparisons, in fact, but I, I simply can't because I'm leaving tomorrow. So that's the reason why uh, I've been sort of delaying everything with this uh, particular... DLC, I've been having to pack my hand luggage and sort stuff out. Obviously do my T25 and the workouts and the schedules, the gymming and whatever. So I'm just getting everything together for that. When, when I do come back, when I do make a return, I'll be covering the content for that. For those that are curious. And I'll be trying to get back onto pace with racing on this game. And see if I still have it from this time last year with the whole F1 uh, era that that was rather intense, intense itself. Those days, who still remembers? Who's st who's still here from the F1 days? Leave a comment down below. I'm quite curious how many of you guys have been watching since the whole F1 drama, since I went to Egypt, since right even before T20 came out. Just you know the whole just the whole GTA story. A story could be written since I started racing. Well, now it's kind of crazy how much has changed, right? With this game, the cars, graphics, new gen. It's quite an emotional, emotional couple of years, you know. Met a lot of you guys through this game. A lot of uh, the circles opened up. This car just feels like a boat right now. I don't know why I said. Oh, 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 oh shit, that was decent. Okay, so getting the rear out of this car is quite straightforward. I don't know why I'm going over this curse. Slidison. Okay, so. Ooh. Yeah, actually, you know what? It's really easy. But then again, slow speed. In terms of speed, I don't think it will be that great compared to the higher tier sports cars. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Yeah, nothing too special, to be fair. It's always been like that with GTA. I'm quite curious because uh, apparently there's been uh, more, more cars that's been leaked for a second part of this DLC or some shit. I don't know. I want to believe it, but as you know, I'm not a huge fan of speculation. But if it is confirmed, then it is confirmed, isn't it? So, uh, something that looks to be like a hyper hypercar? What the? Like, that's good. potentially could be the fastest supercar. Is it Potito type or something? Like a Ferrari looking like futuristic, more, like robotic car with like uh, insane, like vacuum looking like supercar. That, 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 that sounds interesting. That really does. Because I remember... Uh, a few months back, I was crying out for something like that. If that would get released, I would definitely be eager to be on pace with that car and push the game's limits and to do that. That would be really fun and to see 
what I'll be capable of doing, you know? But right now we're talking... Oh! Shit, I was close. Right now we're talking about this car. We haven't actually managed to uh, get a scratch yet. Have I, have I got a scratch yet? I'm not sure. We're supposed to go to the airport, so let's do that. Yeah, I'm not... Let's, let's try this camera angle. Yeah! This is more intense. Let's do the weaving in and out. In terms of the handling, it's quite delayed, but not del not as much uh, in terms of um, compared to the Reaper. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even sure why I'm comparing it, but that's the most recent car I used, I guess. So it kind of makes sense. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Not that great of the curves, but most of these cars aren't that. Anyway, I don't know. I know it's something about these new cars going over curves. Perhaps just the tires. I'm just not used to it. Or controlling the car properly since I made a return. But. Holy shit. Oh, crap. Oh, ooh, ooh. Careful. Let's not get a scratch. Ooh. There you go. Control it. Yep. There. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Uh, relax yourself. Right, I'm, I'm doing the showcase here. So, basically, in terms of this car right now, I don't, I don't see it being all that for racing, really. It's more of a casual, luxurious car to just chill with. I just dashed out quite a bit of money for this, but I'm curious to see what sort of customization options there are. But I, the the design seems quite different, though. I don't know. Personally, I'm not too appealed by it. I wouldn't personally keep this, you know, my garage is one of those. I mean, it's nice looking, but it's weird looking as well, you know, because it's especially the rear. The rear I personally, I feel like the rear does not suit the front. It's like two different cars just attached together, like a Lego, like a puzzle. That doesn't make sense, you know. But to get the armor, brakes. Oh, we got a bit of bumpers there. Oh, that's interesting. So drift bumper. What's, what's drifting got to do with this car at all? I don't, I don't get the names and the terms, you know? The stock front bumper is quite nice, but then again, yeah, I like the race bumper. Completely changing up the luxurious car into a racing car. If that's going to be the case. All right, we've got ovals. Hood, you. smooth hood, twin mented. Let's go with the twin mented hood. Uh, not too fast about the lights. All right, change of plate. I respray this. Uh, we've already done a map in the previous. I like a, I like quite, I, I like an ice white, you know. Slap a little bit of uh, on top of ice white, make it more whitey with frost white. Uh, you're probably thinking, what the fuck are you doing, man? Skirts, street skirts, sports skirts. Let's go with sports. Hmm. Street skirts are decent as well, to be fair, but then again, I like sports. Spoiler! Low level spoiler, mid level spoiler. Uh, this is interesting. I quite like the low level spoiler. Because this kind of just, I don't know, covers up the rear further. It looks weird, out of place. All Let's go with the low level spoiler. Statement. Suspension, transmission, turbo. Oof, that milks your money. Look at that! Whew. Okay. Right. Obviously, luxurious car. I've got to go with high end here. Ooh, see, Carbon S racer suits it. But then again, looking at the stock wheels, comparing that to the these existing... Oh, damn. The, any of these were actually pretty nice on this car, you know? From the side, it looks really nice. This car looks really nice on the side. Like, this angle, most cars look nice. But this one especially looks really, really nice. What we got here, though? What, we can, what, what can we choose from? Super G, I don't know about that. I know you guys are thinking I'm going to ruin it now with the rims. Come on. Come on. We, uh, let's go with the carbon. Let's, let's get safe option. Safe option. This is quite nice. Suits most cars anyway. Full out black or... Should we go with ice? Frost white perhaps? Yeah, frost white. Tires. Bulletproofs. No, not even fussed to be honest. Nope. Let's not ruin it with that. Let's go with black tire smokes. And then windows. Let's take a look. I mean... Yeah, I mean, interior is not all that. Let's fully tint it out. And there we go, guys. Fully customized. Ah, oh, perfect. Nighttime and it's white. Can show off the car a little bit more. This looks nice. I like this customization. It's one of my best ones I've done for a showcase. I think, personally. Judge myself here. Let's take a look at this. This actually looks quite slick now. I, I've changed my mind because after you fully customize it, it looks really nice. I might actually keep this. This is quite fancy. You know, I, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased. Holy shit! Oh my days! Let's take this for a ride, man. 
Okay, now now I'm liking it. Maybe it's just the color. Maybe it's just the placebo. I don't know, but but it, it feels feels quite sluggish. Like I I don't think this car will be that great for cornering. You know. Like yeah, it's got that. Look at that tendency to understeer, but then it, the rear can also slide out as well. So it's very easy to get the rear out as well. This does have a decent decent turning, but not the greatest in terms of comfort. You will get a little bit of randomness with this car. You know. Let's rotate this car around. Never mind. I wanted to do it all the way around. Let's do the stunt jump. I noticed we haven't got a single scratch on this car throughout this entire showcase, which is, I think it might be a new record, new personal best. Uncut. Oh. Control it. Oof. Beautiful. Control this. Bump. And we ruined it. Oh my days. Land it. Ah, oh, bah. Well, from a really luxurious car to an absolute total wreck, causing delays on the M1. Right, basically, this car, this car is like 50-50. Uh, I mean, it feels quite heavy around corners, but then again, it's not, you know? It's, but it's definitely one of the most heaviest supercars out of the lot. Definitely wants to stick to the ground all the time, you know? Just take a quick, oh my... Oh, oh my lord! Not a single scratch there. All calculated. Pinpoint precision right there. Come on, we just got this car fixed. Let's not ruin the momentum, shall we? Woohoo! Near miss, baby! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit like exaggerated airtime. Dodge the pedestrians. Let's not get a bit of blood stain on the whites because it will show. And white stains. It's not great, really. Um, let's do more. I want to get this rear out. It's the best section to do it. Nope. Awful, awful. We need more speed. We need more pickup here. Nope, not there. Let's do it here, shall we? Yeah, perfect. Nope, that's awful. Like, you just... the wants to straighten up all the time. I mean, I'm not saying it's awful in the bad, but like... Oof! Near miss! We're on a kill spree! What a kill streak here in terms of near misses. So many right now. Oh, I really wanted to get the rear out of it. Oh, oh shit. It just done it automatically without me having to even press the R1, you know? Take a look at this corner. This is nice. This is nice to do. I've got a little bit of fetish of just sliding the car about. I don't know why. You know, imagine me. I wish I had like a PC mod, whatever, where I could slide about with cars. But then again, that's a bit childish. But then... I I, I do want to go back to those days. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be fun because right now I'm trying way too hard. But then again, achieving it without the mods and stuff is more, it's more, I guess, um, more of an accomplishment, you know? Whew! That was close. We are definitely being precise here. It feels quick, but it's not quick, you know? Just a, just a placebo of the car's engine. All right, here we go. This, this is a famous corner. This way we make or break. Oh! That was awesome! Now rate that out of 10. That was pretty slick. Bang! Woo! What a near miss again, man. Holy shit. Oh my days. What a showcase this is. Not a single scratch since we've screwed up on the M1 from that stunt jump. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for it right now. Just roll the dice. Please give me a decent number. There we go. Beautiful! Oh no! My OCD has noticed a scratch on the bottom left rear. What does that mean? No, I'm just kidding. It's not that deep. That was just a landing. It was, it was, it was pretty much spot on, but not, not 10 out of 10. It was 9 out of 10, right? A little bit of that Beyblade spin. If it was a little bit, little bit parallel to the ground, it would have been fine, but just angular landing was pretty damn awkward. Ah, uh, fuck. I think I just killed that driver. Oh shit, that was awesome. That guy is Regina. I think it was going to the airport because he had quite a bit of baggage on his car. I just fucked it up. The thing, the thing about this car though is that if you hold down R1 a little bit, because as obviously it's slightly heavy, I mean, the, the, when the rear does come out, you get really nice. Oof, that was nearly a fail right there. But you get, you get really nice slides. My timing's gone a bit bad since I've come back. But uh, yeah, sliding is all about timing. 
uh, if you want to hit the apex and get the nice exits. Oh my lord, I'm gonna hit the car in it. That's much better. Did I get a scratch? No, I, I think I didn't. Did I get a scratch? Let me know in the comments. I think I did a little bit on the back. Yeah, I did. Just on the left-hand side of the exhaust. That's fine. That, that was a much better landing compared to the other one. Let's see if I can work on this one. Fuck. Okay. Never, ever attempt doing that. Never, ever that section. Because my right door is fucked now. Let's pretend that didn't happen. I've got a habit of doing that corner. Even though I shouldn't. Because it's, it's got a little bit of elevation in terms of the ground. Squeeze for that gap. Oh, freaking pedestrian. Do I have blood stains? No, I don't. Oh, shit, Laurie. Oncoming. Yeah. This car's aight. I mean, it's definitely um, more fun to use compared to the Reaper in terms of free roaming anyway. Because you get a little bit more of the thrills because you can weave in and out of traffic. There's decent response time. And even like this, see that? You can just tell from that response. Remember from the Reaper showcase, I couldn't even control the car when it was in the air. At least this one sticks back to the ground right away. But then again, that makes sense because this is slower than the Reaper, you know, so that's logical because the Reaper's quick. And when you're carrying more speed, it takes time to come back onto the ground because of the weight of the car and the momentum carried. Anyway, I'm, I'm, explain, I'm explaining base, I'm being basic, basic physics here, you know? Oh, my days. Come on, come on. Come on, let's, I, I, I want to hit a perfect slide here. I need more pickup. Oh, just testing out the turning circle here. It's actually pretty... Oh my days. Just hold it down. This, this thing can turn. Ooh, near miss. I do feel the understeer. I, I mean, that's a good test actually. To go around that building and just hold down the left stick. See how much understeer it has. Thing can turn though. And it feels like it's on the edge of the oversteer. But the understeer is still rather dominant. But there is still bit of that oversteer that car the car just wants to lose the rear but it doesn't you know it's just fighting against it so that's the best way to explain the handling of this car and the way it responds around corners there you go get the mad revs notice that with this dlc all these cars get mad revs mad pickup mad acceleration insane here we go we need the speed Ah, oh, ruined it. Ruined it. Let's try again this side. Oh, fucking hell. The understeer, I'm definitely feeling it more now. There we go. Car's completely wrecked. But we're coming to an end of... Ooh, that was precise. Again. Well, that was... That wasn't a slide. Chicane. Slide. Need speed, need speed, need speed, need speed. Here we go. Perfect. I, I think I perfected that corner. This one. Oh, that was close. That was really close. This one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Go for the chicane again. I need to get closer from that. I need to satisfy my OCD with these slides. Come on. Take two. Take two. Yes, get closer, get closer, get closer. Now. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Another one consecutive. Decent, decent. 7 out of 10. Consecutive third one. Oh, fucked it up. Oh, man. Yeah, I was getting carried away there, guys. So anyway, it's a fun car to slide around with. Get the timing right, but it's extremely costly if you do get it wrong because of the understeer and the weight. Uh, momentum carried so it's quite hard to recover well, there's a bit of a delay to recover and straighten up the car after you slide but yeah that's the best way to explain it that when you saw me going around the circles and holding it down how car wants to kick out but the understeer is rather dominant but then again uh, on that very edge of it's about to be kick getting kicked out of the rear you can easily just, just tap r1 slightly and you can easily oversteer with the car and prevent the understeer so yeah it's a it's a decent i mean it's, it's a different car in terms of the handling mechanics but uh the looks it was it was weird with the stock version but after you fully customize it uh, i guess it, it's quite satisfying when, when it's fully you know fully repaired and not wrecked like this but yeah it's nice it's a nice luxurious sports car and uh, i'm curious to see the upcoming cars on gca5 in terms of GL dlcs and it's always great for them to release this sort of content but uh yeah other than that let me know what you guys think of this sports car this brand new sports car 
Uh, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below. I'll give it a read. As always, if you guys did enjoy the showcase, be sure to drop that like, like and subscribe for more. I'm not going to be here. Hey, guys, you here, Ray KJ G Unit. Welcome back to another car showcase episode for this finance and felony DLC. Going to be finally trying out the 